We're here with head coach Tanya Johnson after the Yellow Jackets beat Florida Gulf Coast 3 0 to begin the Bulldog Invitational. And, coach, another tough tournament this weekend. And how important is it to start off on the right foot like that, finishing a team early and getting it done 3 0? Uh, I thought we really came out and executed really well tonight uh, and took care of business. Um, uh, we really got uh, Florida Gulf Coast uh, out, of, out of their offensive rhythm. Uh, and we were able to do some things offensively. Uh, and it was just nice to see all of our attackers on the same page tonight uh, and everybody hitting the plan at a high level. Well, one error tonight, and you really can't ask for more than that. And, you know, really you look up and down the stat sheet and just so spread out. Everybody who played made a contribution today. Uh, you know, the thing that we worked on this past week in practice is everybody taking care of their responsibilities and, and doing what they have to do to contribute to the overall success of the team. And I thought they did a really nice job of that this afternoon. Now, you know you'll have some great crowds tomorrow, but how tough is it in a game like this where there's almost no one in the gym and you have to really con con create your own energy and enthusiasm on the court? Um, we talk, talk about that in practice, too. When we're on the road, it's about creating our own energy within ourselves and within our team. Um, that's a hard thing to do when you're on the road, considering uh, the crowds that we play uh, in front of at home. And so uh, I thought we did a really nice job with that. I thought our kids were very, very upbeat, and I thought the intensity level and the energy level was pretty high today. Now, interesting day coming up tomorrow. Most cases, you would look at look, the look schedule, you see a top 10 team. That would be the game that most people would get excited about. But you've got a little rivalry game tomorrow night. But up first, number nine, Washington at 10 a.m. And what are you going to tell your team tonight now to hopefully not overlook Washington when everybody's thinking of Georgia tomorrow night? Uh, I don't, our, our kids understand that it's one match at a time. That the first things first, and that's tomorrow morning we have Washington. But I, I think what what today does for us is takes us into tomorrow morning's match with a with some confidence, especially offensively, especially for some of our kids who who've struggled over the course of the last couple of weeks. And so uh, we'll see if we can carry the momentum from today into tomorrow morning. Uh, and we're just going to go out and play hard. Uh, you know, we have nothing to lose and, and everything to gain. So we're just going to go out and try to play Georgia Tech volleyball uh, and give it our all. Now, last question. Just walk us through walk the fans who maybe don't know. When you're getting ready for two matches in a day, one in the morning, one at night, how do you break that up with film and scouting and, you know, breaking it up with your assistants and delivering the message on to the players? Well, we're getting ready to watch a little bit of, uh, of the Washington-Georgia match, uh, and then we'll head back to the hotel uh, and have some dinner, and we'll start watching film on Washington. So uh, the scouting report's been done. Uh, we'll add to that what we see tonight, uh, and we'll go over that tonight and then over it again in the morning. Uh, and then uh, come out and play it tomorrow morning and, uh, and play hard and play George Tech volleyball. Well, thanks, Coach, and good luck tomorrow against Washington. Thank you.